Okay, so here's the deal. It is December 2nd of 2022, and I just want to read something funny. Okay. Well, at least I think it's kind of funny. I'm sitting here trying to get motivated for my day, right? Amari, stop it. I'm trying to get motivated for my day here, okay? Yesterday, I was babysitting for quite a few hours, and I ended up getting agitated, right? Because, you know, I'm just 60 years old, and I can only handle kids for so long, and I've got my own grandkids that are with me 24-7, and, you know, it's harder with Amari, and I'm overwhelmed, and hold on a minute. Amari makes this noise, and it drives me freaking nuts, man. And he refuses to listen when he wants to be stubborn. Anyway. Okay. No, oh, where am I? This individual says she learns a lot. Okay. So I'm just sitting here, you know, again, trying to get, said, trying to get motivated. Okay. And, uh, you know, I don't know, people, I don't want to dwell into the negative in terms of whatever it could be, so I'm just going to bypass that and focus on this. I came in just a little while ago, you know, and I'm like, this is what I wrote. Let's just read it. Little, because you, you need to read this part first before you can understand the second part that I wrote. Because the second part, I was just being a little cocky, kind of cracking a joke, right? Anyway, little bits of information that you are learning get stored away into your long-term memory. And that's why I go as far as to show and explain the ins and outs of food prepping where I can, when I can, sorry... There he goes. Do you hear it? It drives me freaking nuts. Stop it! And it's like a little game, eh? He'll stay quiet for a while and he'll start up again just to get my attention. Anyway. So, a lot of that, I kind of just do on the fly. Right? In terms of, like, with my last video. Found those two old three jars of, you know, the dates, the raisins... And probably some sort of a specialty flour. Who knows? But maybe bread flour or self-rising flour. It didn't taste like self-rising flour. But besides that point, you know, and that those jars have been sitting where they have been for like eons. And, you know, most people just out of ignorance would throw it out. Okay? So anyway, I'm showing through the video that it, you don't need to. The only thing that I would maybe... Re Mari, stop it. Um, I would say outside of what I haven't said already in terms of, you know, if you get inside into the jar, you know, there is the potential for mold to be in there because of, you know, mold likes to travel, right? So before you get maybe too gung-ho to just assume that everything's fine, you know, if you were really that concerned, you could empty out that jar, go through it, and chances are you'd probably find nothing on the inside in regards to mold growth. Okay? And it's edible after the fact. Okay? You see, a lot of people, they don't know that. You see, because they want raisins, they go to the grocery store, they buy raisins. Right? They've been conditioned to grow up. They grew up like that. Right? So... And then they, they get conditioned with these best before dates or expira you know expiration dates. And all that does is guarantee these food companies uh, future profits. Because if you're conditioned to believe that a pack of raisins is no good after a specific date, and you come along and fi find those raisins a year or two or three later, and it says they're from 2000 and whatever in the past, and you're just going to be like, oh, get rid of it, you know, it's, it's dangerous, it's poisonous, it's rotten, it's spoiled. Well, 
that's not necessarily true because some foods can be stored indefinitely that's for sure obviously the higher sugar content the longer the shelf life that's that's one thing right along with anything that's you know with salt and vinegars and those types of things stop it okay anyway let's just get on with this because I'm gonna start my day I don't even know what this video is I was thinking of putting it on me and just talk for a little bit but okay some foods can be stored indefinitely right or for much longer than we are made to believe Amari stop it I'm gonna have to keep doing this people and many people are ignorant to that because of the buy on demand system we've grown up with right Amari stop it food deserts are being implemented everywhere obviously some communities that are at higher risk than other communities stop it Do you see how he's provoking me but for whatever reason the ones who have nothing okay the 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 Tamikas in the world that like to stalk individuals that are like two times their age basically running around thinking that whatever it is that they thinking they can do a better job even though they don't even lift a freaking finger and are more interested in destroying than building you know just shit like that because there's a lot of people out there like that people okay nothing in their cupboards okay sure go to that girl's house she's gonna have a little bit of this and a little bit of that but that's all she's gonna have it's just a little bit of shit okay so that's what I mean by nothing in cupboards okay you might have a box of this and a can of that and you know some little spice jar over there or whatever it is but at the end of the day are the people who are the first to cast judgment on me when it is I who has cupboards full of food it's what you choose Amari stop it this is what I do all day long sometimes Stop it! I'm I'm really trying to he he doesn't understand be quiet. He doesn't understand shh. He seems to respond more to stop it, but you can see when he wants to get attention, he quickly starts up. And he does it on purpose. It's what you choose, how you store it. Okay? And I show you different method, methods as we go along year after year. I show you what happens year after Amari stop it I show you year after year what happens with things while being stored like for example when we do the canning and you get that black discoloration at the top of the lid which isn't necessarily a bad thing it's just that when a jar sits for a long 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 time and depending on what's on the inside there's an oxidization that goes on that discolors the lid but at the end of the day the food itself is not spoiled already done videos on that where most people just hold on oh Amari stop it where most people would just simply throw it out and they're starving well, I'm showing people that, sure, you might be starving, but don't be afraid to, you know, because the Internet might not be available. You might not have the book information in front of you to, oh, well, gee, it says right here in this book that if there's black, you know, discoloration on the top and it looks kind of like mold, but it isn't mold, people. Mold can't really grow in a, in a, in a sealed jar unless the seal itself has been compromised that's the first thing the most dangerous thing about a canning jar in terms of home canning pressure canning that kind of thing is the botulism okay if the jar pops okay then yeah you're gonna get something growing inside the mole and in, inside the jar and you'll actually see it you'll see it you'll see it you'll see that whatever's inside is looking rotten it's mushy it smells rotten you you know you'll see little colors and okay clearly there's air in there and there's something growing botulism grows without air so a sealed jar 
right? You wouldn't see it. You can't see it. You can't smell it. You can't do anything. So there's a difference, right? There's the difference between a jar that's popped, been compromised, air got in, and everything's spoiling inside the jar. And then we've got the jar that's sealed that has something oxidization on top of the lid because the jar has been sitting there for quite a few... What are you doing? Been sitting here for quite a few years, and so over a period of years, you're going to get that oxidization, but the seal itself never popped, okay? So the food itself is fine, but you would still have to treat it with the idea that it, it could have botulism, and that's why you bring it up to that boiling point, get it boiling, and then turn it down and have it out on low boil for the 10 minutes to make sure that if there is any, any botulism spores that you remove them before you consume the food. But as for the oxidization, no. That, that doesn't affect anything, people. There's a difference between oxidization on the top of a lid compared to a jar that had the lid pop. Or, because sometimes they can go up and they can go back down, but that going up is enough to introduce air into the jar, which will spoil the food and that's when you can clearly see it in that situation you just boil up a pot of water right you pour it into the boil it for 10 minutes chuck it out boil your jar either or okay what did you do why are you squawking in there what what did you do well you got quiet now mm-hmm okay so, so that's that, that's what I mean by like going through my video like on the fly, you know, like you know, if we go into Auntie Shimei's room one day, because I have to do a jar check, I have to go in there, put my hands in there, put, touch everything, right? See if any jars popped, take them out. We've done videos like that, okay? You know, so on and so on. So, um, food deserts are being implemented everywhere but for whatever reason the ones geez, he started this shit again shut up okay <laughs> oh, as if I got more energy for other children oh yesterday was rough I lost a whole day looking after children and I'm not feeling very well because of these eye drops and the other what is that called? Side effect to these eye drops is drowsiness, which I did I not say. All I've been wanting to do is sleep. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Reasons, okay. But for whatever reason, the ones who have nothing in their cupboards are the people who are the first to cast judgment on me when it is I who has cupboards full of food. It's what you choose, how you store it, and what you can do with it, and of course, the calorie count, mineral and vitamin count, <coughs> and even <coughs> shelf life, that's important too. Hold on, I gotta go see if maybe he got himself in a pickle. So anyway, I'm just feeling insecure, people. You know, obviously, right? Just for whatever reason, okay? I mean, I, there's multiple reasons why I'm feeling insecure. But besides that point, this lady here, she wants me to do some live streams. But, you know, I, I have to find a way where I can get a hard copy and put it onto my hard drive. That's one reason I don't really do a lot of live streams because I tried that StreamYard crap and, you know, we know what happened with those videos. It looked like I was in a, worse than in a discotheque, right? It was like flashing all the time and, you know, even other people are having problems from Canada are having problems with this StreamYard. So I don't even waste my time with StreamYard anymore. As for XSplit, you know, like... <sighs> I'm actually thinking to maybe try it on my Windows 7 there, 
but it's a it's a it's a it's an old browser and they like everything to be up to date and I tried to do it here one day and it didn't work so I ended up just doing the YouTube live stream but because I'm not a premium member and I don't pay member dues to YouTube itself I don't get the privilege of downloading those live streams so that's one reason I don't do them the other reason is is when I get in front of the camera and it's a live stream and you know and I, like I right you, I don't know oftentimes what to say you know you got to kind of come in with a subject obviously I don't sit and g gossip per se you know around and around and around and around and around and around and it's supposed to go around and around and around just to keep that movement <coughs> I can't. I don't have time for that. Not much. Not my style, right? You know what I'm saying. And uh, so it's really hard for me to do live streams <coughs> at this point. Maybe if I get into those little auctions or something, and I've got something you know to do and talk about and <coughs> to promote or <coughs> I don't know, then maybe it'll be easier for me. But other than that. Any videos that I make are usually, you know, because I'm trying to, I don't know, I can't use the nonprofit that much anymore as an excuse when it comes to the United States of America, because that is kind of slipping off to the wayside. But again, even if I don't re-register the trademark, you know, I just keep doing you, right? <coughs> so... But I don't even know what that U is anymore. Outside of maybe this, as a side note, this is why I turned this on because I, I think this is funny. Because I'm like, who and what are you, Judy? Like, because yesterday I really felt like that old woman in the shoe who had so many children she didn't know what to do because my landlady came, right? And like, she's 84. People talk about being old. I'm only 60, okay? And we got, we had a big snowstorm on here, right? And like, this woman's got the spirit of, of a snow bunny, you know? Because I, I offered to try and get an e-transfer for the mail to her so that she didn't have to come out and get it. <coughs> <laughs> no, she said, I want, you know, I'm coming, my son going to bring me, and blah, 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 blah. I said, oh, so now you're a snow bunny. <clears throat> if you're not climbing trees in the summertime, you're running around out in the snow. And I told her I admire her spirit, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyway, you know, so, you know, like, and when she came to the door, I, I had these children, and this there's a baby is four months old, right? He's four months old. And he crying, 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 and I'm like, yeah, I'm babysitting, a blind woman babysitting, as if, like, you know. Because the thing is, my daughter and her friends or whoever, you know, they don't understand that, yeah, I look normal, I sound normal. <coughs> I look like I'm doing normal things, and I look like everything's fine. <coughs> but it's not that cut and dry. And, uh... You know, things take longer, and it's just, yeah. And you, you're you constantly having to correct your emotions in terms of don't get mad, don't get frustrated, don't get depressed, don't get sad, you know, don't get lost, you know, stay focused, that kind of thing. So, you know, you're working extra, your brain, your brain is working extra hard just so that you maintain on a level of... uh <clears throat> You know, so <coughs> I feeling I am kind of feeling like that old woman in a shoe who had so many children. She didn't know what to do, but we know with that fairy tale. Sorry, we know with that fairy tale. What did she do? She she spanked her her kids or something like that, and put them to bed with no food or, or no bread or something I don't know anyway it didn't work out very good for her and I don't want to be in that kind of position I never have never felt that I could I should be in that position right you know um, and so anyway just to offset offset anything right I don't know what that anything is this this is what I wrote and I, I, I think it's kind of cute right and then I just because you know right here's something funny <coughs> Let's read it. <coughs> there was an old woman who lived in an old shoe, and she had so many children, she didn't 
know what to do. So she went off and bought some wheat, some chickpeas, and made ghee too. Oh my, how people taunted the old woman, accused her of being foolish and unwise. But the old woman barreled on, ignoring that laughing town. And then the storm came, and that's when the old house became a homestead, a steady, fast means for healthy bread. That's the only way I know how to explain it. I think it's something that you just kind of have to go through in terms of life, right? That's why young people are so stuck on stupid. Literally. <laughs> right? And because we've been so commercialized through our cities, through consumerism, right? People just take things for granted. I don't want to be that old woman in the shoe with no, you know, with a house full of kids with no food, with empty cupboards, right? It was, has never been my intention to be that kind of a person, all right? So, you know, like, I'm like, anyway, I just got to stay focused on clearing out shit. I've already got it in my head that I'm not doing any bulk buying of anything, pretty much, when it comes to online right the prices are comparable as it, like okay like the chickpeas for example <coughs> there's three ways I can buy chickpeas <clears throat> in a big bulk next time and and I'm, I'm going to explore all three options um, obviously there's organic matters right and I think they were coming in at eighty three dollars for twenty five pounds and that was if I went past one fifty with delivery uh, if I order them from the states, right through nut.com, okay, they they come in at seventy-four dollars, and because it's over fifty-nine dollars, you get the free shipping. But then I'm paying almost thirty-four cents on the dollar just to match the American funds. So you know, obviously, it's too it's more expensive to buy it that way than to go through organic matters. Whereas if I go to you know one of my local you know, grocery stores where you can find stuff like that, right, through the Punjabi community, you know, I mean, you're going to get chickpeas that are more than likely unorganic, that's for sure, you'll find those. At what cost nowadays, I don't know. So before I go off and buy another 50 pounds of chickpeas, right, obviously I have to go through half of what I've got right now, at least to see if I even like it and if it's doable and if it's doable well then yeah you better budget in I'm going to budget in right another 50 pounds to 100 pounds depending on what's going on in the economy people right problem with that though is you know like those dates I bought those dates the ones that know that beautiful jar, that old school jar, right? I don't even know when with those raisins. Quite a few years ago. And they're perfectly fine. Even if I get into the middle of the jar, I can almost guarantee you they'll be perfectly fine. Yeah. And, uh... Uh... I'm questioning myself. Well, what, you can just keep talking about this kind of stuff. Like, what is the purpose of your channel now? Right? Like, the nonprofit is just going off more and more and more away from the wayside. You know, just going off in the wayside. Right? Oh. So, I just wanted to share that, right? Just because you're an old woman with a lot of kids and you don't know what to do and you live in an old shoe, 
Well, you know, my advice to you is when you can, <laughs> just go off and buy some chickpeas, mm -hmm. buy some dates, mm -hmm. yep, yep, make some ghee, because mm -hmm. that's a, that that will sit for a long, 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 long time, right? And uh, what else? Wheat, obviously wheat, right? Because you know that's that's a good staple with a lot of minerals and nutrients, and uh, you know everything else will come slowly but surely if you put your mind to it. And then when, 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 when the food desert really hits and the storm really comes, well, I guess you'll have, be, you know, you'll have children around you <laughs> that will be well fed, right? So hearing it that way for some goes into their hippocampus when they go to sleep. They think about it, the brain processes that information, puts it into the long-term memory. So as they go about their day, day after day after day, something's going to kick in, right? And they're going to navigate towards that idea for themselves and their families before they'd settle to be an old woman in a shoe with empty cupboards and with so many kids, children, that she didn't know what to do. So what did she do? She smacked them and put them to bed without bread. Like, come on, people, what kind of fairy tale is that? I don't want to be that kind of fairy tale. Right? I'd, be, I'd, I'd rather be the fairy tale that can make some nice sourdough bread with um, something in the middle of it. You know, I, 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 I so want to experiment with sourdough bread. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I definitely want to do something. And these these little potatoes that I'm working on right now, this is just the leftover that wasn't robbed from my yard. Andre and I, we ate the potato skins last night. I ended up frying some other potatoes, and then I fried up all the potato skins because those ones came from my yard, right? Where I thought that they were okay. You know? Imagine that. Three, three and a half potato patches robbed. Like, who does that, people? Who does that? As they're casting stones at you. Think about it. So get your cupboards in order. Yeah. If anything, just get your cupboards in order. How about that? <laughs>